Snapping hip syndrome is also known as dancer's hip. This is a common condition among dancers, especially ballet dancers, but it can occur with weightlifters, runners, and soccer players. Snapping hip syndrome is a clinical condition where there is a palpable or audible snap felt with hip joint motions. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report, where I'm going to cover snapping hip syndrome. Snapping hip syndrome is also known as dancer's hip. It is a clinical condition characterized by a palpable or audible snapping sensation during hip joint movement. Most commonly, it is an overuse phenomena, but it can be caused by trauma. Approximately five to 10% of the general population is affected by snapping hip syndrome, with the majority experiencing painless snapping. Prevalence is slightly higher in females than in males. Athletes typically affected include those who do repetitive extreme hip motions, including weightlifters, soccer players, runners, and ballet dancers. Of the ballet dancers, almost 90% reported symptoms of snapping hip syndrome, and 80% had bilateral involvement. Two main categories of snapping hip syndrome exist external snapping hip syndrome and internal snapping hip syndrome. External snapping hip is most commonly attributed to the iliotibial band moving over the greater trochanter of the femoral head during hip motions of flexion, extension, external rotation, and internal rotation. Other causes include the proximal hamstring tendon rolling over the ischial tuberosity, either the tensor fasciolata or the anterior aspect of the gluteus maximus rolling over the greater trochanter, and the psoas tendon rolling over the medial aspect of the iliacus muscle. A combination of these sources is also possible. The area over the greater trochanteric region may be painful due to greater trochanter pain syndrome, abductor tendon pathology, or inflammation of the ileal tibial band. Internal snapping hip syndrome most commonly occurs as the iliopsoas tendon snaps over underlying bony prominences. Other causes include paralabal cysts and partial or complete bifurcation of the iliopsoas tendon. In approximately 50% of internal snapping hip cases, an additional intraarticular hip pathology exists. Locking of the hip may occur along with the audible snap. Weakness in the gluteus medius muscle is sometimes present. Oftentimes, you can point with one finger to the exact area that is painful upon snapping and may even be able to recreate the snap. Symptoms develop and increase over a long period of time, typically months to years. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. Please realize that watching this video does not take the place of seeing a medical professional. If you have a snapping hip, please see a medical professional immediately. Do not hesitate. You can see a doctor of chiropractic like myself, or you can see another type of medical professional. But please see a medical professional if you have a palpable or audible snap when you're performing hip joint motions. If you are performing an exercise, always work through a symptom-free range of motion. Never perform an exercise that elicits or intensifies symptoms. If an exercise elicits or intensifies symptoms, please stop immediately and find a viable substitute. And always start any exercise program at your current health, fitness, and strength levels. Never start at the level that you used to be at when you were younger or the level before you started having pain or symptoms. Always start at your current health, fitness, and strength levels. When you see a medical professional, imaging may be recommended. You may get x-rays, an MRI, or an ultrasound. These tests will help you to determine what is the exact cause of the audible or palpable snapping sound when you move the hip.
as I stated earlier, I am a doctor of chiropractic and I have treated numerous cases of snapping hip syndrome. As a doctor of chiropractic, the main treatment that I use is what is called a chiropractic adjustment. The chiropractic adjustment helps to reestablish proper skeletal motion and it helps to optimize nerve flow. If I had a patient come in with this condition, I would do a thorough examination of not only the hip, but the entire spine and the lower extremity. We want to make sure that we find the intrinsic source of the symptoms. If I diagnose someone with snapping hip syndrome, the treatment would consist of a chiropractic adjustment to anywhere in the spine, pelvis, or lower extremity that needed that adjustment. That could be in the lower thoracic spine, in the low back, in the pelvis at the sacroiliac joints or in other joints in the lower extremity, including the hips, the knees, the ankles, the heel, in any other part of the foot. This would help to restore proper motion. I would also perform stretching exercises on whichever one of the muscles are tight, and I would recommend exercises through patient education where I would have the patient stretch and foam roll muscles that were tight, and I would have them strengthen muscles that needed to be strengthened. I would also recommend activity modification. Self-treatment recommendations for snapping hip syndrome would be to eliminate the intrinsic factors of the condition. We want to combat the postural faults. We want to strengthen the muscles that need to be strengthened. As I stated before, many times there is weakness found in the gluteus medius muscle, so that muscle needs to be strengthened. And also stretching the hip flexor muscles, which are the psoas and the iliacus muscle. So these can be accomplished through strengthening and stretching exercises. Snapping hip syndrome is a frustrating, painful, and performance limiting condition. If you start to feel any symptoms if, or if you start to hear the audible snap, please see a medical professional immediately to get a proper diagnosis. This condition usually takes a long time to develop and a long time for these symptoms to become present. So if you start to feel these symptoms, get them knocked out immediately by seeing a medical professional. You can see a doctor of chiropractic like myself, or you can see another type of medical professional. But see a medical professional for evaluation, diagnosis, and treatment. Thank you for watching today's episode of Dr. Ocello's Sports Medicine Report, where I covered snapping hip syndrome. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance, and Minimize Injuries. You can visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, to find out more information on the book and to also find my blog. My blog contains articles on spine health, chiropractic care, sports medicine, fitness, exercise, and nutrition. Please feel free to like this video. If you have questions, feedback, or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments section below. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. Always remember to train hard, but train smart. Get adequate rest between your training sessions. Utilize nutritional and supplementation strategies that work for you. Stay injury free. Prevent all injuries. Rehabilitate all injuries and accomplish your goals.